Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can get the updates of the newest videos coming up. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, welcome back my lovelies. Let's get into your reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with you Virgos. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope this uh, passing full moon didn't really shake a lot of emotions in you guys. I know you're one of the signs that is greatly impacted with this passing full moon. And we're definitely still sensing that energy till now. So be patient with yourself if you find yourself often reminiscing or looking towards the past or being a little bit overly dramatic or emotional. <laughs> All right, Virgos, dramatic? Never, right? <laughs> okay, Virgos have this uh, reputation of being um, very serious because they're earth signs. You guys are the wildest. I know because you're my rising. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, so in regards to communication, you have the four of wands, the element of air here. Um, this is representing how you will be communicating for the month of April. Uh, I see reciprocation here. I see uh, really communicating with family member, loved ones, or family, um, friends. This could be reconnecting. Uh, this could also represent if you've been uh, kind of in hermit mode. Uh, I see you guys the past three weeks probably being a little bit more social than you were at some point in the past. So that's definitely a good thing. I do see re-energized re type of energy here. And it's almost like um, a feeling of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A feeling of recharging your batteries is what I'm hearing. So for some of you guys, you could be very, you could have been very hard at work or working towards some type of manifestation. Now, in regards to the element of earth uh, with your finances and career, I have the page of swords. So the page of swords could represent dealing with the uh, air energy could be a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra type of energy. For others of you, this could just represent a uh, person of uh, higher authority. Really keeping an eye on you. I see them being very like methodical, uh, even watching you when you think they're not watching you. I do want to say for those of you guys that have uh, bosses or management in your friends list in Instagram or any type of social media, be careful what you put out there because I feel that th this person is very sneaky and they just want to know more about you uh, so that they can later on have something uh, to hold against you if need be. Do you see what I'm saying? So just be careful with that. Um, yeah, they're saying be careful with that. Um, it's almost like... Like I'm looking at you, Virgo, and I'm, you know, wanting to see what your life is like or uh, how you react or interact with other people. But at the same time, they're gathering information. So uh, if there is a promotion or something that's coming up, an incentive, a bonus, something like that, be careful what you post on social media um, because I feel that they may hold that against you. So just for the month of April, be cautious with that. Now, in regards to your challenge here, we have the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups could represent walking away from a situation. Um, for some of you guys, you could have walked away from uh, some type of connection or some type of relationship where perhaps uh, there was a lot of overly protectiveness. This could have been you, Virgo, or this could have been your partner. Um, but they are definitely telling me like someone was always wanting to have the upper hand on the situation, whether it be you or whether it be your partner, it is a general reading, keep that in mind. Um, but I see you walking towards uh, a different path. For some of you guys, there could have been some distancing that got involved in this connection. For others of you, it could have been you that grew tired of this situation and just decided to walk away. And I feel that this was the best for you, Virgo, because you are entering into this new energy where the whole month, or not the whole month, sorry, the whole year of 2021 is going to set the tone for you for the next coming 
few years. And when I say few years, the next coming three years. Um, so again, you don't want to be carrying any toxic energy. You're dealing with people that just take, take, take from you. Um, even people that have a tent, like they say that they're your friend and they got your back. But in reality, when you ask them like, oh, you know, I got these new shoes. Do you like them? And they're like, oh, they're okay. Or, you know, I got this new dress. How does it look? Well, you know, you should have got it in this color. Uh, pay attention to that because that's just them being a bit like hateful. Um, and what they're telling you is you are going towards a new path, Virgo, where unfortunately a lot of friendships are going to deteriorate through this process. But for a lot of you guys, this is setting the tone for new people that are going to be coming in that are going to be connecting or vibrating to your same frequency. So don't take it as a loss if there's relationships or friendships that start to create some type of distance. Take it as a blessing. It just means that you've outgrown them and it's okay to outgrow people. That is part of life. Um, because if you continuously keep having these energies around instead of them allowing you or helping you to continue growing, they kind of hold you back. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is don't see it as a negative, see it as a positive because you're walking towards more positive um, new beginnings. Now, in regards to your emotions and how you're going to be dealing with for the month of April, you have the devil card. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Capricorn. For others of you, you may be dealing with an Aquarius type of energy. Uh, the devil card in regards to love and romance, there is, again, a need for you to walk away from that which is toxic, something that has not been working for you, Virgo, and you've been trying so hard to make it work. For some of you guys, this is holding on to a relationship that has been extremely toxic. For others of you, it's a relationship where the person or partner often only takes instead of gives. And what they're telling you here is you need to let go of this type of attachment. You've outgrown this. Stop entertaining people that are only temporary. Stop settling for people that only want to have you when they need you. Do you see what I'm saying? It's about releasing yourself and releasing these chains so that you don't continuously keep going through the same type of lessons. You need to walk away from that. You are vibrating on a much stronger, more vibrant frequency, Virgo, for this year of 2021. We got to stop doing what we've been doing the past five years, okay? Now, Spirit's message here is the lover's card. And that's exactly what I was getting when I seen the devil. So with the devil card, again, a lot of toxic type of energy or perhaps being connected to, like you being very attracted to people that you know are not good for you. The moment you decide to walk away from that type of attachment and stop chasing people that are emotionally unavailable to you, that's when the lover's card and the four of wands comes through for you. So what does this mean? This means long term. This means longevity. This means commitment. This means finding your happiness, making yourself happy, going above and beyond for yourself, Virgo, to make yourself happy. And when you start working on building yourself and building your uh, finances, your career, your stability, whatever it is that you're wanting to attain, that's when love presents itself. Why? Because you're matching that energy. You're matching a person that is healthy in regards to their emotions, a person that is wanting longevity, a person that is stable in their emotions and not confused or not looking for temporary satisfaction they're looking for something much more deeper virgo now let's see what your oracle message is here for the month of april 2021 virgo sun moon rising and venus virgo sun moon rising and venus and for virgos i think yeah for 2021 a lot of you virgos are going to be experiencing uh commitments a lot of uh, long-term connections coming through for you guys so again we just need to end the cycles from the past so you don't keep entertaining these fuck boys or fuck girls um, and, and prevent you from meeting the person that is supposed to come into your life, Virgo. Okay. Now you have broken heart. So 
again, I feel that this is not something that's coming through. This is something you've already experienced, Virgo. This is something where perhaps you're at a point right now where you're healing. There is a lot of healing that's happening, but I feel that it has more to do with self-love. Um, my advice is whenever you feel that there is almost this feeling of becoming overly emotional and you often contemplate to yourself or think about the past relationships and connections you've had in the past, um, there is there is almost this need for to fully accept the decisions we've made in the past. This is what we call shadow work. So my advice to you guys is to start writing down on a journal, apologizing to yourself for everything or every choice that you've made in regards to partnerships from the past that you allowed people to do. As an example, I apologize to myself for allowing people to walk all over me or allowing people to uh, play with my emotions, stuff like that. And what you're doing is you're acknowledging that, but when you are done apologizing or acknowledging what you've been through, then you're going to say, I now release this energy and I only embrace positive uh, and healthy relationships and connections. And what you're doing when you're, when you're writing this, what you're doing is you're acknowledging and at the same time you're healing. And at the same time, you're putting the power to manifest. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's about dealing with the emotions that we often ignore. You're acknowledging that, no longer ignoring it. Then you are setting the course, changing that energy towards positive energy. I am only embracing healthy relationships, healthy connections. Um, I love myself. I promise myself to be loyal to me and to always make me a priority. What you're doing is you're realigning yourself to your soul's purpose. You're realigning yourself to what you're wanting to attract towards you. So this is really going to help you. And I feel that with the broken heart energy, this is something you've already passed. This is something you've already gone through, Virgo. And it is about transforming. This is your year. This is the year of really setting out your intentions to manifest what the type of life that you want. And it starts with healing. So again, don't ignore that. I wish you guys the very best. I hope that this gives you uh, some type of guidance and we'll see each other soon. Bye.